Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to relate a data within a table in Microsoft Access 2016. In our previous video, we have already learned that how to create tables, how to create a relationship between them, what are the different type of relationship. But sometimes there will be a scenario that we have to relate a data within a table. Let's take for an example that I have a customer database and in that customer database, I have the first name, last name and their corresponding cities. Let's say that I want to find the customers who belong to a particular city. At that time, I will run a query. So in order to do that, we move to the create tab and under the create tab, we run a query to relate a data in within the same table. We will have a better understanding how to relate the data within a table in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn how to relate a data within a table in Microsoft Access 2016. So in order to do that, I need to first close all the tables. So I'll simply right click and I say close all. Now we will move to the database tool tab and under that database tool tab, I will select relationship. Out here you can see I have some tables which have some connection with it already. Now I will delete this table. I will delete all this table and if I wish to add a table, I will simply select on show table. Let's go ahead and add the customer table and we will add the order table. Now let's close this and let's try to understand. Now if you can see there is already a relationship between these two table. Let's go ahead and understand what this relationship is. So in order to do this, I have to simply double click or right click on this uh, line and say edit relationship or I can simply double click on this. It will open this window which says edit relationship. Now out here relationship what it says from the customer table the ID and from the orders table it has taken the field as customer ID. Now it has enforced the referential integrity. Now there are these two check boxes. Now let's try to understand what does these two check box are. So first says cascade update related field. So basically what it is trying to say whenever I place an order, whenever I place an order, it automatically it should get updated with the customers table as well. All right. So if I click on this, it will basically update all the record whenever I place an order in this order table and it will be enforced in customer table as well. Now the second option it is saying cascade delete related record. So basically whenever I delete a record, it will also delete that particular item, but I do not want to delete that item because if you select this and if I delete any item, it will show a blank record in my customer table, which I do not want. So I have not selected this as well. Also, there's something called as join type item out here. So I'll simply select on this join type and let's try to understand what it says. Now the first thing it is saying only includes rows where the join fields from both the tables are equal. So basically it is saying that if the ID is similar then only include the records or else don't include the records. So this is not we have selected. We have selected the second option which says include all the records from the customer and only those records from the order table where the join fields are equal. So basically I do not want uh, those database where uh, the customer has not placed the order. So I do not want to see that database. I want to see all the records from the customers those who have placed orders. So I have selected this and the third one says include all records from the order table and only those records from the customer table. So basically it will show me all the products and all the items which I won't be requiring because I'll be just requiring that database in which uh, the customer have placed an order. So I have selected the second option out here. I simply select OK. So this is uh, one thing. Now, another thing if you can see at the bottom of my this particular table, uh, this particular window, you can see the relationship type one to many. So basically it says that one ID can place many orders out here but one order cannot be placed by many customer that's right so this is what it is trying to say so the relationship out here is one to many I'll simply hit ok now if you can see uh, there is a sign and there is an arrow as well which says uh, one to infinity so basically what does this uh, stands for that one customer can place many orders all right and as the arrow shows this like it will first relate to the first customer and then it move to the orders table now let's go ahead and add some uh, more table let's say that i want to add the product table now all right so i'll simply add the product table and now i close this i'll take this product table here so now you can see there is a normal relationship 
relationship uh, it has taken the customer id and the product name i will right click on say edit relationship or i can simply double click it will give me another the same window out here i have not enforced any referential integrity now if you can also see uh, from the audit table it has taken the customer id and the product name let's go ahead and try to understand out here we have also selected the second option most of the time we always select the second option because I want to include all the records from the order tables and only those records from the related product table. Alright, so this is what we select most of the times, but it, it depends on your requirement. You can select whatever you feel like. Alright, so I'll simply select this and hit OK. And now I hit OK. Now out here, there's a normal relationship. There's no one to many. This single relationship where the customer ID and the product name is out here. Also, one thing I'd like to share with you guys that whenever I move this table, my relationship does not change. So when how as in we can place this table the way we want to it does not affect the relationship it will get automatically adjust the signs and adjust the arrows automatically all right guys so this is how we relate the data in microsoft access 2016